Born in the Bronx, I lived here in LaGrangeville practically all my life. I was raised by my mother and father, who also raised my older brother Frankie and my oldest sister Chelsea. It was always aggravated. He was bursting with energy even when he was a little kid. learning-based deficit that nobody really like knew of at the time. I had I have global dysphagia, I still do. It's a hard disability. I mean, because it's not it's not only dyslexia. Dysphagia has a ton of other learning disabilities on top of it. One of the more important things about Adam's school career was the two years that we spent getting him to focus on reading. Global dysphagia is a very severe reading and language disorder. It encompasses a lot of different things. That if you have trouble with something, particularly something fundamental like reading and writing, that can cascade into other things to the point where there's not a lot of benefit to be gained in trying to instruct a student or ask a student to do seven or eight different subjects a day if they're on a weak foundation. We really didn't understand why at first. At times, his teachers and myself thought he was deliberately not doing his schoolwork, deliberately did not want to do homework, deliberately did not want to study or learn. He just wanted to play games. I remember reading and trying to do the homework. Homework used to take a very long time, sometimes six to eight hours at night after he used to come home. And we didn't go to bed until midnight or afterwards. And we'd just stare at the paper. And no matter how much we try to help him, it just wasn't sinking in. All kids hate homework. My kids hated homework. Frankie hated homework. But I think Adam set the record for really having a hard time sitting down and focusing on his homework. When he entered high school, ninth grade, he had the reading level of a third grader. Um, and this is, this was, this was not good. So for two years, uh, freshman and then sophomore year, he went to Kildonan High School. I can't say he enjoyed the experience. Kildonan was basically a reading and writing immersion program. And I think that it gave him quite a, a good leg up so that when he returned to the public high school, he was much more confident and had a foundation in reading and writing. And that let him survive the other subjects like algebra, science, economics, the things that he has to take to get through. And Kildonan is known for teaching Orton Gillingham to process the language better. Um, and it was actually a success. It was an expensive school, but it was a success. I'm talking about Adam Fasano, there have been hundreds of, of students here over the years. I'd like to say I remember them all, but you know, I'm only human. There are a few who I remember really well, and you, you're one of them. The reason I remember you really well is because you love to act. I had the pleasure of doing that schoolhouse scene uh, those years ago, and, and I remember trying to act, and I, you know, the way you could do, you just let yourself go. It's great. That's what they all say. Come on, man, you know me. Just recently, he uh, proposed to this girl to go to prom. And it was one of the greatest things I have ever seen in my adult life. Because Adam is not one to do something like that. And I thought it was very interesting. Very interesting. Can I say something crazy? Will you go to prom with me? He was always interested in music and arts and other things, although he did try some of the sports and activities. Uh, often I would let him use the piano that somebody had left, beautiful piano in the back of the athletic storage room. Play, he would rally up four or five kids to sit with them and just, he would entertain them singing songs, playing the piano, always having to go back and check when we were gathering basketballs or soccer balls. He'd be back there with a group playing like it was like a, a small art theater in the back. Um, we are developing something small here as well, and it came from inspiring people like yourself that had that interest and allowing them to pursue it more. So you're a big part of why this all got started, so good for you. You're never going to find a lot of kids who say, I love Kildona, and I, I can't wait to come back. You know, usually it's a, it's a little more complicated than that. And when you talked about Kildona, um, you talked about it with, uh, with an appreciation. Not necessarily a fondness, 
not necessarily a wow, I had a great time, because you didn't have a great time, you know, but you were able to appreciate what the school did for you. It took a little convincing to get him to actually come into the old AT lab, to, you know, do some one-to-one -one training with me. At that point, he was com comfortable with the Windows computer, but didn't really want to use the assistive technology. I think he wanted to prove to himself that he could do, do the reading and the writing on his own. But I think by the time I was finished working with him, uh, I had convinced him to at least use a few assistive technology tools, and I'm really happy to hear now that he's using Dragon uh, to dictate his writing. Have you gotten to this point in life, but you've gotten to this point of success in life where you're gonna do more than just be on this plan. You know, you're gonna you're gonna help people, you're gonna have an effect on people. When you're on stage you move people, you are one of those people who are willing to take chances that you know a lot of us can't take. We'd like to, but we can't. I think it was his last year here. I uh, made a movie with him and uh, he was doing all this free running and stuff and like showing me how to free run a little bit. So that was kind of cool. Nobody I really knew knew how to free run or do any of that stuff, so that was kind of cool. Because Adam would always get kicked out of the weight room for the moonwalk and dance in the middle of weightlifting while everyone was lifting extremely heavy weights. It was a different take on the world than some other people, and sometimes it took a little while to really get to know and understand Adam. We'd meet each day, go over um, various parts of writing, how to write cursive, word reading, writing sentences and essays. And I always enjoyed that time together because Adam was very creative, very um, funny and entertaining person to work with. One of my fondest recollections of his time here is uh, a literature assignment. He completed a rap video um, for a Shakespeare play that he was reading as a way of a sort of an end of term project. I was always impressed by that. I was impressed by his creativity. It included a rap song, dance moves, and it was really fantastic. He shared that with many people from school, and I remember how impressed they were and uh, at the work he did. Now, 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 a lot of you know Shakespeare strategies. You got tight drama, people dying, or some people becoming a majesty. Yeah, yeah. The tragedy and the main characters turning into dirt, but here, let me take you in a land of all Shakespeare's work. Now there's a lot I of remember a lot of movement. There's precise. some students that you meet them and you remember more about their body and how they present themselves than maybe what they say to you. I had you in study hall for two consecutive years and whenever I said something to you, you listened to me because I respect you and in return you respect me as well. Adam, I knew Adam in uh, his my three-dimensional art class. For a worker, I loved Adam because we spent half the time we'll talk about dance and we'll talk about theater and art, and we had a connection because we were like the two hardcore dyslexics working together to, to create this like project. He will always have difficulties with his disability, but his disability does not define who he is, his character does, and he has a great heart. For all his struggles with traditional schoolwork, when Adam is on a show, it's like he's on the job. It's a very different attitude that he brings to it. He has to learn a script, learn his blocking, learn his songs, he takes it very seriously, he gives it the attention that it needs, and he paces his time really well and gets himself prepared. He's always prepared for rehearsal. Adam is a real theater professional, and he was that way at a young age. Knowing now what I know about Adam's handicap, I wish I would have done things differently. Even though he was a great artist, he couldn't write letters properly. It was an emotionally draining on him. At the beginning, we were frustrated with him, until we realized that there was something wrong. I wish I would have believed him, and I wish I would have had the tools back then. We realized that he might have these issues. It didn't seem like he had a problem. It didn't seem that there was anything wrong. I wish he would have had his psychological evaluation and his neurological evaluation earlier in life. It seemed like he just didn't get it, and uh, I think his mother and I kind of missed the boat on that and didn't catch it soon enough. And we never really found out what the problem was until recently. It was later, as a teen, that we, we discovered all his, his disabilities and how severe they were. What I remember particularly with Adam, the hardest thing for me was, is that he had to leave his home. I remember how he felt and how depressed he was. I remember we, we gave him his birthday party. It was his last birthday party in the house, and like 90% of the furniture was gone. And his eyes told the whole story. And till this day, I feel terrible about it. You know, I tried really hard to keep the house. I think in effect, Adam 
the most out of the other kids. That's the only home that Adam ever knew. The other two kids, I mean, we, we were living in the Bronx, and I, I don't know if they really remember, they were very young, but for Adam, he was born in that house, and for him, it was hard to deal with, hard to cope, and it hurt me to see him so hurt. Adam yeah. is a phenomenal dancer. He's a phenomenal dancer. One of the more interesting summers we had with Adam was when he decided to channel Michael Jackson for three months. He started out dancing to Michael Jackson. He went through a lot of phases. He went through Spider-Man, Paul McCartney, Mario. I've never seen anybody imitate Michael Jackson to perfection. He is a triple threat. He took many roles. He sings, which to me said he acts. He might become an actor. And he dances very well. But he's He's had a lot of energy, always loved performing and being the center of attention. He played a character called Tommy Gillis, and it was mostly a dancing role. He blew me away. I, I've seen him do Michael Jackson, but I've never seen him do theatrical dancing, and he was just incredible. He taught himself thriller. He's probably one of the best dancers that I know in this area. He's really got a talent. Natural dancer right from the start. How do I feel about Adam graduating? Very proud. It's just phenomenal. Well, We're very proud. Serves him right. There's no stopping. Successful. <laughs> graduating. And I can't think of another kid for whom that graduation is going to be more of a light at the end of the tunnel than Adam. Because I feel my education is now going to a race. No one knows that I suffer or cares about a big story when I'm reading not doing it myself. I'm from some L. So speed eating that spoon. Feeling not to eat yourself. A lack of success. So I confess I digress. Because my life is a mess. So let's strive for the best. See, I wanted to make a change. I turn, no one can help me arrange, care to make my mind learn. You won't learn to be a shoo-in if you don't be stern to do it. But you got that burn that makes you quit and say, screw it. But all shouldn't, why me and not another? I had schemes to fulfill dreams, I'm trying to buy a cutter. It all because of this lack of my responsibility, but that's wax. It's a lack of my learning disability. So here again, my Joy to the 